Hi everybody, it's Kelly Driver here. Welcome to my art channel. Today I have uh, the third in my series of wrecked paws for you uh, to watch. Uh, this is a big canvas that I've got today. I'm doing my intro post recording the um, artwork. So it's a big ripper, big one. So that's fantastic. Um, a bit, you know, a bit bigger than my little, uh, my 40 centimeter one here with the resin. So there'll be no resin on this big baby. Anyway, um, my inspiration for today's uh, acrylic pour is my love of French chateaus. Uh, I, as well as watching acrylic pouring artists on YouTube, such as my two favorites at the moment, who I can't get enough of, are Molly's Artistry and Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. They're, I just dig, dig their vibe at the moment. I'm really into their works in particular. Um, I watch lots of other people, but they're my big two at the moment. Um, and um, Molly's been doing some wrecked pours recently and I just can't quite stop doing them. I love them. I am absolutely loving them. I'm really into it. But I've also got this uh, absolute love of watching on YouTube people renovating French chateaus. My favourite channels are Adrian and Carol renovating Chateau de la Ferte. Ferte? Ferte? Chateau de la Ferte. There's an Australian couple um, renovating a very big Chateau, um, Chateau Pernon. And I also like watching um, Dan from uh, Escape to Rural France um, completely starting again with a chateau that um, burnt down in a fire that was once owned by Coco Chanel. Uh, anyway, I keep watching these videos. I absolutely love French chateaus. It is so different from anything that we have in Australia here and um, I just think they're magnificent. So, my partner Dan said, why don't you paint something that in, you're inspired by a French chateau? So I thought you can go, nothing is better than Versailles in Paris. So I had a Google and found Marie Antoinette's private chambers. She had a gold room. And in this room, it was a white walls with a lot of gold intricacies. Um, I guess it's wallpaper. And then timber, of course, being from that era. So timber floors and timber furniture. And in the room, the furniture, the upholstery on the furniture and the curtains was a, is a turquoise green colour. So it's the white, gold and turquoise green are the three main colours in the room. And of course, gold and turquoise green are an amazing combination together. Then um, also in the room to add in more warmth and everything they have is a beautiful rug. And the rug has some pale pink. It has some um, reddy, a reddy, a magenta kind of pinky red. Um, it also has a beautiful blue in the rug, um, like a manganese blue and some creams and um, things like that. So the painting today has all of the colors that I've just mentioned to you. Uh, and the palette is entirely based on the gold room, Marie Antoinette's gold room. However, my painting is nothing but nothing traditional at all. It is very abstract and very modern type of painting and I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> so uh, yeah, very modern and very abstract, very uh, wrecked poor style. Um, so hopefully you um, enjoy watching me create this big baby and um, see how it turns out at the um, right at the end. So stay tuned, watch through and enjoy. See you later. Hi, here I am. Hello. 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 Marie Antoinette's private quarters gold room is our inspiration, as I'm sure I've already told you in the intro. So I have been Googling and I've got some lovely colours 
to incorporate into the painting. It's a really lovely big rect uh, rectangular canvas, uh, 30 by 40, which is 76 by 102, 101 centimetres. And I'm going to start with a puddle of white paint in the centre. And unfortunately, I have a whole lot of bubbles in it. So that's very annoying. I'll probably use my butane torch a lot here, but I don't think there's much I can do about it. That feels too thick. Oh my gosh, I hate this. Ugh. Guys, I forgot to mention, if you love French chateaus as much as I do, let me know. I would love to know if you're obsessed with watching people and the amazing things that people are doing, um, bringing these chateaus back to life. Please let me know. Tell me what you, which channels you love and uh, who you enjoy watching. And um, if you just love the fairy tale architecture and um, just find them so fascinating and um, the fact that they're all over France just waiting to be um, brought back to life again. Um, if you love that as much as I do, let me know because I'd love to hear from you. That should be fine. This should be, do you like my giant um, stick? It's huge. <laughs> it's a big one. I got it from the shop where I buy my resin from. That feels a bit better now. Seems to be flowing out a bit better. So Versailles is full of gold. So we're going to do some lovely puddles of gold. And I've got, that's light gold. And I've also, um, Mixed up some deep gold. Let's do bronze and I'm also going to do some gold ochre. So this is obviously not a metallic colour. It's a bit of a favourite of mine at the moment. And I've got um, Titanium Buff Light, which is a very pretty neutral colour. The Gold Room has beautiful turquoise green furniture and curtains in it. So this is my contrast in colour, which, oh, I love this colour. Love, 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 love this colour. I'm sure you can understand why against the gold. So beautiful. Now of course the floors were, the floors are timber so I'm going to put in some Van Dyke Brown I thought this might make a nice contrast. And I've also got some warm grey. Now the other colours that I have are colours that I could see in the rug on the floor, which were touches of pale pink, touches of a beautiful blue and touches of um, a red. So I've got primary magenta, manganese, phthalo blue, and light rose. And they're my final three colours. So let's pop some of those on. We'll do some pops of manganese first, just because it's in my hand and I didn't have to take the lid off. 
that might do that one because it is just for pops and pops of primary magenta. Okay, what do you think? Well, they're pretty colours. So I'll give it a big torch now, a very big torch. A little bit more turquoise, I think. Now I'm going to do different kind of um, swizzle in it today. So recently, the last two wrecked pours that I did, I did like a fan. This time I want to do more swirly kind of um, patterns. And yeah, I'm just gonna, not exactly sure how I wanna do it. Well, that's very pretty. Just got to give this a go and see what happens. Um, I think I'll start doing the corners further away from me because they're the biggest challenge on this large canvas. And let's pray we've got enough paint on here as well. Yes, the paint's fine. on. Okay, I can see. I need to get my tweezers. Now, where was it? Here. Oh, look at that piece of paint. Gosh. Okay, so we'll bring it back down after that little and then we're going to take it over, so pop back down, and then we're going to bring it up over to the corner over here. Well, lucky I've been working out at the gym, tell you what. Okay, back. Okay, I'm going to do the corner over by the window now. Watch my hands get covered in paint. And back. Okay, we'll just bring it into the, just get it. Woo! Oh, look at my pretty hand. That's nice. <laughs> okay, now we've got to do I bring it over. Okay, that's it. That's the, um, now I'll just bring it back to the center.
this here is not meant to be there. <laughs> that is not meant to be there. Okay, well, this is beautiful. This is definitely beautiful. I think this corner over here is a bit too stretched. So I'm going to just bring everything over that way a little bit. I really wish, I really would like to get rid of that. I think I will, you know, I'm going to get a syringe. Where did that blue come from? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Where the heck did the blue come from? That's nice. Now I think what I need to do at this point is stand on a stool and have an aerial look at it. So up I go. I'm going to drag a little bit of this bronze. I can actually put bronze on my palette knife to help it drag. Nice. Lovely. And I might do, there's something in here. Maybe I'll just torch it. No, it doesn't want to come up. So I'm going to put a bit more bronze in that bit there. Just drag it down. Beautiful. That paint does feel very thick. Yeah. Mm, I might need to drag this down a bit more. It feels quite thick.
I really like these um, bits there. I can probably afford to lose a bit more of that corner to um, make the paint a bit thinner on the board. And now I'll um, tilt it back into the middle again. Tilt it over the edge. Again. My hands, I'm turning into a smurf. <laughs> I'm a little smurf. That's terrible. This bit just here is no good. Uh, I need to tilt that over. We've got to get that edge off. I saw a bubble. Where did I see that bubble? I've got to get this bit off down there. What I might do is um, this centre has gone rather squiggly and that's not the best look. So I might, um, when the painting is dry, I will be able, like in a few weeks, I will be able to work on this area here. The other thing that I could do, seeing it's right smack bang in the middle of the painting, is I could um, do a big um, swipe right now of, um, say, deep gold. I'll try that, and then if I mess it up, 
then I'll um, fix it when it's um, dry. Better, it's better. That was good. Just give it a torch, there's lots of bubbles. And maybe I need to do uh, the same thing just here. With what colour, Kelly? I really like the um, warm grey, so maybe I just take the warm grey through there. I really like the, that warm grey colour. It's really beautiful. better that's better it's great one bubble I am so happy with this. Let's cross our fingers and toes that everything dries nicely, but right now I'm leaving it the way, no more changes, that's it for now, that's it. Maybe some little paint jobs when, I'm, when it's dry, but not now. I'll give it one final little torch and then we're gonna leave it alone. Here is the final result. We're currently in my lounge room. It's the only wall in my house that's big enough to um, put the painting on. Normally where I do my filming, I <laughs> it's not big enough to fit in there. So um, welcome to my lounge room. I've got lots of my little artworks up on display over there. <laughs> Um, so here it is with um, a high gloss varnish on 
uh, for the final. Um, I've got three coats of a high gloss varnish because I thought the only way to, um, you know, it's got to have a lot of um, a lot of shine to be over the top like um, uh, a painting that um, represents the gold room needs to be. I'll give you some close-ups now of different parts. Okay, I've come a bit closer now to give you a few more of the details of uh, all the amazing parts of it. So I did change um, a number of elements in it after um, I painted over it. I waited a number of weeks and then painted certain areas that I didn't really like that much with fluid paint over the top. So if you're going to paint, I've learned this the hard way, but if you're going to paint on a um, over the top of a fluid artwork, you have to make sure there is like zero moisture left in the canvas, um, in the paint. So leave it for a good two weeks or more uh, before you touch it. And then you can um, move things around and change things the way you want to. So I've done that a fair bit in the middle. And then there are other parts where I thought I could enhance it and make it um, better. So uh, a stunning end result. Um, I love it. I really love it. I love this bit up the top here. It reminds me of like a, a beach. And mum loved that little bit there that I'm zooming. You can see my camera reflection there. And uh, the um, bronze over here next to the um, turquoise green is uh, really beautiful as well. Anyway, I'm very happy, really happy with it. Um, and uh, it's my biggest painting that I've done so far, I think. And uh, I hope you like it as much as I do. It is very abstract. Um, my but I'm a big fan of it. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time for another video. Bye for now.